It's time to learn about the most important aspect of acting. Here's Hollywood's deepest secret. No one is actually passionate about acting. I mean, yes, true acting comes from the heart, but that's because everyone loves making money. And that's why you should never act for free. Unless it's for a Maker Wood Films production, of course. So how do you turn your acting skills into cold, hard cash? Well, if you followed my previous acting tips, then you may get lucky, but if you want guaranteed success, then you need to take it to the next level by investing in Hollywood Nick's Advanced Acting Tips video series. This series includes 24 tapes mailed to you in monthly installments, all for the low, low price of $29.99 a month, plus shipping and handling and processing. Hollywood Nick's Advanced Acting Tips is the best investment you could ever make. Plus, they're extremely easy to purchase. To stop into Hollywood Nick's Videorama, mention the video series to an employee, spend a minimum of $30 on rentals, and give us your social security and credit card information to sign up, and it's just that easy. Plus, for signing up, you'll get this free bonus gift, a sticker that lets everyone know you're on your way to becoming a professional actor. So stop into Hollywood Nick's Videorama and subscribe to Hollywood Nick's Advanced Acting Tips video series today. Until then, enjoy the review. It's gone. It's all gone. The entire movie inventory is completely gone. I came into work this morning and all the computers at the Videorama completely fried. I called Hollywood Nick and apparently he came in last night around 3 a.m. to check his emails because he couldn't remember the password to his home computer. He clicked on an email that said that if he filled out a survey, he could win a free iPad. And it completely fried the office computer. Then he proceeded to do the exact same thing with every computer at the Videorama. He really wanted that iPad. But in the spirit of the holidays, I'm gonna try to keep a positive attitude, despite being completely devastated. So I see you're interested in watching Brazil. Here's what you need to know about the movie. Oh, and I should mention before I start that I did watch two drastically different versions of the film. The director's cut and the studio Love Conquers All cut. And this will be a general review of both versions. This film stars Jonathan Price as Sam Lowry, Robert De Niro as Harry Tuttle, Kim Greist as Jill Layton, Michael Palin as Jack Lint, Ian Holm as Mr. Kurtzman, and was directed and co-wrote by Terry Gilliam. In a strange dystopian world, poorly run by technology and bureaucracy, one simple mistake can lead to more than just extra paperwork for Sam Lowry, as he struggles with life while chasing his dream. I will say my first watch had me a little confused. This is one of those movies that makes you think and contains deeper messages which sometimes aren't instantly apparent. I felt the director's cut of the film was a little too long. And by the end, there was so much craziness going on that it was hard to keep up. The shorter Love Conquers All studio cut had some scene transitions that felt a little jarring. It was obvious that they cut a lot of material out of the original version and the pacing was almost too rushed. As always, it's easy to win me over with some great visuals. If you've seen any other film by Terry Gilliam, then you'll know exactly the sort of quality to expect. 
The entire world is packed with detail. With its obviously outdated futuristic computers, unique outfits and locations, strange fashions, and of course, air ducts everywhere. The world is meant to feel surreal, sort of like humans have lost control of their free will. The film does a great job at reflecting how the environment would evolve when the government controls every aspect of life. It seems like everything is made to be simpler and dumbed down for people, but in doing so leaves mankind helpless in doing anything on their own. Whenever people have an issue, they have to call the government central services to fix their problems. And BAM! Movie Mario and his stepbrother Red Luigi show up to fix it. Alternately, those in the lower income side of town live in squalor. The film does an excellent job at showing just how bad the living conditions are for those who are less fortunate. Another great example of the visual brilliance of this film is Sam's dream sequences. He dreams he's soaring through the sky as free as a bird. Pun intended. But man, does it look fantastic. This film has some strong humor as well. Jokes are scattered all throughout the film, so you never really feel like things are getting too unbearably depressing, even when upsetting themes are involved. It likes to poke fun at the structure of this futuristic world. And like I said earlier, this is one of those films that definitely makes you think. If you're into movies with deeper themes and social statements, then definitely add this to your rental list. It's rumored that Gilliam came up with the title Brazil while visiting the beach on a day when the weather wasn't very beach friendly. He witnessed a man listening to the song Brazil, which is used frequently throughout the film, and Gilliam was intrigued on how the man could listen to such a cheery song despite the poor weather. The Love Conquers All version of the film was created for US audiences because the studio thought it would be better received in the States. Ironically enough, copies of the original version began to circulate and critics loved it. This along with Gilliam's blatant public protest of the modified version of the film led to the director's cut eventually getting an official US release. Robert De Niro was not originally credited for his part in the film, and reportedly he played the part for free because he really wanted to be in the movie. So if you're into crazy dystopian adventures full of action, humor, and extreme surrealism, then step on by Hollywood Nick's Videorama and pick up a copy of Brazil today. And I guess in the meantime, I'm going to start working on this inventory again. So much for having a day off. But I'll get it all sorted out, and I'll be back to making videos again in no time. I hope. Anyway, until then, if you enjoyed the video, please leave us a like. Make sure to follow Super Media World on Facebook and YouTube for updates. And most importantly, have a happy holiday. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next year.